Hello, sisters and brothers. My name is Christopher Albright, Wesley Church Council Chair, and I'm here to deliver this edition of the weekly message for Pastor Doug, who is taking some very much deserved time off. I got to thinking this week as I was putting together my, my notes for this talk, and I, I wondered, have you ever prayed for something but didn't get the answer you were looking for? We can all relate to facing some type of need and praying to God for deliverance. Whether it's a concern for ourselves or for others, we have a tendency to pray not only for a positive outcome, but also for a specific type of positive outcome. It would be like, oh, I don't know, let's say praying for your favorite football team, the Eagles, uh, to win the Super Bowl by blowing out their opponent. Let's say that may have been the Patriots. But in the end, they did win, and it was a close game. A win by a few points counts the same as a win by 20 or 30 points. A win is a win. Being dissatisfied with the answer to your prayer is not a new thing. When the Israelites ran out of food following their exodus from Egypt, God gave them manna to eat. But after a while, they grew dissatisfied with that, complaining that they wanted something else besides the food that had kept them alive during their time in the wilderness. Our human side can make accepting something that isn't our preferred solution difficult. One of my favorite examples comes in the form of a story inspired by, but not found in the Bible. It's called The Man Who Lived by the River. There was once a man that lived by the river. He saw a TV report that the river was going to rush up and flood the town, and that all the residents should evacuate their homes. But the man said, I'm religious. I pray, God loves me, God will save me. The waters rose up. A guy in a rowboat came along and he shouted, Hey, hey you, you there, the town is flooding. Let me take you to safety. But the man shouted back, I'm religious. I pray, God loves me, God will save me. A helicopter was hovering overhead and a guy with a megaphone shouted, Hey you, down there, the town is flooding. Let me drop this ladder and I'll take you to safety. But the man shouted back that he was religious, that he prayed, that God loved him, and that God will take him to safety. Well, the man drowned. And standing at the gates of heaven, he demanded an audience with God. Lord, he said, I'm a religious man. I pray. I thought you loved me. Why did this happen? God said, I sent you a TV news report, a helicopter, and a guy in a rowboat. What are you doing here? Sometimes the solution we seek comes from an unlikely source, or doesn't help us exactly the way that we envisioned, but we still, all the same, must trust in those things that God provides. Dear Lord, help us to see that your way is always the best way. Your solutions are always better than anything that we could come up with on our own. Lord, we thank you for hearing our prayers and for being faithful to your people, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Have a great week, and we'll see you on Sunday.